Good afternoon, brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Thank you for joining us in this anticipated Eucharistic celebration for the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. This Mass is offered for our departed loved ones in the Assumption family for the period covering June 7 to October 31, 2021. The departed alumni for this period are Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Sister, and Sister Maria Anisha Asuncion, RA. Delida Quezon Avanzania, Anita Sayok Meili, Celia Diaz Laurel, Isabelita Halandoni Montinola, Lourdes Susara Burton Howard, Maria Luisa Vito Tideman, Carmen Hernandez Valenzuela, Priscila Limhuco Estrada, Maripaz Galiaga Bosque, Marivi Eusebio Alejandrino, Lourdes Ruiz Llamas, Margarita Varona Barreto, Mary Beth Lopez de Leon, Lourdes Comcom Malvar, Leonor Goldenberg, Consuelo Perez, Christine Medrano Lim, Maristela Illustre, Pia Fernandez, Claire Virata, Josefina Gonzalez, Tina Zulueta Vanseña, Maria Solidad Choseco, Yvette San Diego, Luz Peralta Julian, Rebecca Cruz, Marta Sevilla, Hilda Rita Lopez Teodoro, and Maribel Paras Beltran. The departed relatives of alumni during the same period, who passed away during the same period, are Wilfredo Abad, Felipe Agas, Marita Alfonso, Leda Ali, Antonio Ampil, Claude Edwin Andrews, Juan Paulo Ansaldo, former President Benigno Aquino III, Noel Balmaceda, Belia Barrera, Delphine Dan Batacan, Laura Navarro Black, Loni Busuego, Jaime Calero, Jose Casas, Mina Consunhi, Maxi Corpus, Erlinda Cruz, Doctora Pilar Cruz, Jose Dairit Jr., Salvador De Leon, Nena Del Rosario, Rafael Carlos Dinglasan, Algier Divino, Rosario Divino, Lourdes Dulce, Milagros Estaniel, Josefina Fajardo, Andreas Fortich, Manuel Fragante, Santiago Franco, Conrad Gacad, Jose Maria Gana, Eddie Gana, Ambassador Herm Hermine Hildo Garcia, Lourdes Bautista Gaskell, Attorney Asuncion Gatmaitan, Narcisa Gregorio, Heidi Gomez, Rita Gonzalez, Eddie Guidotti, Rafael Hechanova, Ray Ilusorio, Arturo Jacinto Jr., Patria Nepomuceno Jacinto, Nestor Halandoni Jr., Eduardo Jose, Lydia Schaefer Kaiser, Ernie Laxon, Yvette Lumon, Maria Teresa Lorenzo, Francisco Maravilla, Vita Filipa Medina, Tomas Meneses, Antonio Merchan, Justiniano Montano IV, Catherine Montinola, Raimundo Navarro Jr., Benigno Ocampo, Rad Ocampo, Rodesito Otero, Roman Ozaita Jr., Regina Paculaba, Manuel Pangan Jr., Ofelia Pedrosa, Russell Pomeranz, Beatrice Preisler, Celia Reyes, Adelina Rodriguez, Benjamin Salvador, Nelson Santos, David Michael Schaller, Bartolome Silayan, Jose Maria Simo, Victor Ajerico Sison, Consuelo Suarez, Ambassador Bienvenido Tantoco Sr., Leo Torrijos, Antonio Valdez, Mariano Vélez, Trinidad Ventosa, Jose Salvador Villa Jr., 
Joe Villegas, Mario Yatko, and Rainier Zimmerman. May the sacrifice of Jesus release them from their sins and grant them the freedom of God's perfect peace. With our priest presider, the Reverend Father Manoling Francisco of the Society of Jesus, we entrust them to God's mercy and love as we sing the entrance song. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time and we remember all our dearly departed and we entrust them to the mercy of God. As we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and healing. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And the Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep us all from all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of hearts the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us now listen to the liturgy of the word. A reading from the first book of Kings. In those days, Elijah the prophet went to Zarephath. As he arrived at the entrance of the city, 
a widow was gathering sticks there. He called out to her, please bring me a small cupful of water to drink. She left to get it and he called out after her, please bring along a bit of bread. She answered, as the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked. There is only a handful of flour in my jar and a little oil in my jug. Just now I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When we have eaten it, we shall die. Elijah said to her, do not be afraid. Go and do as you propose. But first, make me a little cake and bring it to me. Then you can prepare something for yourself and your son. For the Lord, the God of Israel says, the jar of flour shall not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, until the day when the Lord sends rain upon the earth. She left and did as Elijah had said. She was able to eat for a year, and he and her son as well. The jar of flour did not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, as the Lord had foretold through Elijah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let our response be, praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, my soul. The second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Hebrews. Christ did not enter into a sanctuary made by hands, a copy of the true one, but heaven itself, that he might now appear before God on our behalf. Not that he might offer himself repeatedly as the high priest enters each year into the sanctuary with blood that is not his own. If that were so, he would have had to suffer repeatedly from the foundation of the world. But now, once for all, he has appeared at the end of the ages to take away sin by his sacrifice. Just as it is appointed that human beings die once, and after this, the judgment, so also Christ, offered once to take away the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to take away sin, but to bring salvation to those who eagerly await him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now honor the Holy Gospel. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. In the course of his teaching, Jesus said to the crowds, Beware of the scribes who like to go around in long robes and accept greetings in the marketplaces seats of honor in synagogues, and places of honor at banquets. They devour the houses of widows and, as a pretext, recite lengthy prayers. 
they will receive a very severe condemnation. He sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd put money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents. And calling his disciples to himself, he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury, for they all have contributed from their surplus wealth, but she from her poverty has contributed all she had her whole livelihood. My sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our first reading uh, narrates the story of Elijah, who fled the men, the armed men of King Ahab and Queen Jezebel. He condemned the king and queen for uh, worshiping the Baals and challenged them to prove uh, that there is only one true God. And so with the priests of uh, Ahab, uh, they went up a mountain and 400 priests tried to set fire upon a bull, but none of their prayers were effective in bringing about this fire. But uh, on the other hand, Elijah instructed the servants to pour water on the bull and he prayed in God's name to set the bull afire. And lo and behold, a huge holocaust burst forth. King Ahab and Queen Jezebel were so enraged that they ordered their soldiers to arrest and imprison Elijah. And so Elijah became a fugitive. He did not only run away from the soldiers of the king and queen, he also ran away from his vocation as a prophet of the Lord. He found himself in uh, Zarephath, and uh, sought refuge in the home of this widow. And he requested her for some baked bread. But she assessed her pantry and said, we only have a cup of flour left for my son and myself. And after we consume this meal, we shall die because there was a severe drought. But Elijah insisted, provide me with the bread, for the Lord will in turn provide for me. And lo and behold, the jar of flour was never emptied. For one whole year, throughout the rest of the severe drought, the woman would find flour mysteriously in her jar no matter how much she consumed for her son and her guests. And so our first reading is about God's providence, the God who fills our empty jars. We have been experiencing God's providence, filling our empty jars in various ways. For more than a year and a half now, I have been managing the relief operations of the Tanging Yaman Foundation. And every now and then, I would become so anxious. Lord, paubos na ang aking jar of flour, jar of donations. And so during the uh, ECQ that was declared all over NCR in August, we uh, intended to send uh, food packs to 20,000 families all over Metro Manila. Yan lang ang kaya namin. But the Lord filled our jar to the brim so that we were able to send food packs with the help of the military, with the Navy, with the police, distributing food packs all over Metro Manila to 55,000 families. More recently, uh, 
the north was hit by an ex unexpectedly severe storm, Typhoon Marini. And we prepared 3,000 relief packs. But so many provinces, uh, SON, SOS, requesting for food packs from Ilocos to Cagayan to Pangasinan to La Union to Ifugao, Kalinga, Mountain Province. But we only have 3,000 food packs. We appeal to everyone. And lo and behold, the 3,000 multiply into 11,880 food packs for the same number of families. Again and again, God has filled our empty jars of flour through the generosity and uh, the compassion of people all around. But the Lord has also been filling our empty hearts our hearts na pinigana dahil sa pagluluksa, sa mga kapamilya, kaibigan, na yumao dahil sa COVID. And it has been so painful and draining to accompany friends and families as they grieve the loss of their loved ones, as they bear the, the guilt of not having been around during the last days of their loved ones, isolated in an ICU room, not being able to visit, care for, attend to, assure their loved ones of their love, they have had to bear this heavy weight in their hearts. And yet after our memorial masses, when we assure them that our Lord who felt abandoned on the cross, knows human isolation, knows human forsakenness firsthand. Suddenly, the heavy load in their hearts is lifted, and their hearts are filled with the consolation of a God who has expressed solidarity with suffering humanity by embracing our human condition, embracing pain and mortality himself. And so we have experienced God too, fill the empty jars of our hearts because of our misery, despair, and grief. The Lord has filled them with his glad tidings, with his consolation. And today we gather to as we remember our loved ones who have passed away, our bodies will be empty too of life. Our bodies will become corpses. When our souls leave our bodies, our bodies will be left lifeless. They will be emptied of all life. And yet, God promises us, and this is what we have celebrated during the All Saints Day and All Souls Day, the past long weekend of the Undas, that God will fill our empty bodies with his breath of life and restore us to fullness of life and gather us into his eternal kingdom. And so in various ways, as the Lord has filled the empty jar of the widow of Zarephath, the Lord has been filling our jars. Whether our jars filled with contributions for relief work or our empty hearts that have been so exhausted in weeping and grieving, or whether it is our bodies that will be emptied of life, God fills, God provides, God revivifies, God restores us to fullness of life. One last point. Our first reading is about God filling the empty jars of our lives. 
But the gospel reading is about the widow who filled the treasury with her two copper coins, all that she had. It is because of our experience of God's mercy and providence that we to empty ourselves, that we to become like God, self-emptying, kenotic, self-giving, because of gratitude, because we want to praise the Lord. And so we share all the blessings we have, knowing that the more we give, the more we receive. The more we give from our jars, the more our jars will overflow with the goodness of God. And so as we celebrate the Eucharist, the memorial of our God who empties himself on the cross, we pray that his bread and wine nourish us so that we too might empty ourselves that others might have life. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Together we profess our faith. I believe in God. I want God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And so let us present our prayers and petitions to our providential God who fills our jars, empty jars, with goodness. And let our response be, Lord Jesus, teach us to be generous. Lord Jesus, teach us to be generous. For the universal church, May she always be a shining example of generosity and detachment from material things. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, teach us to be generous. For the Holy Father and the other leaders of the church, may they always edify us with their practical concern for the poor and the marginalized. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, teach us to be generous. For our civil leaders, May they view authority as an opportunity to serve the community rather than as a source of honor and profit for themselves. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, teach us to be generous. For the poor of our land, may they experience the concrete support of the community while they themselves show solidarity with the needier among them. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, teach us to be generous. For all the victims of natural calamities, the refugees, and the homeless, may they be promptly assisted in their present needs and be helped to rebuild their shattered lives. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, teach us to be generous. For all of us, may we wholeheartedly give our time, talent, and treasure for the needs of the people around us. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, Teach us to be generous. And for all who have recently passed away for their eternal rest, especially for the souls of those in the Assumption family for whom this Mass is offered, 
and for comfort and consolation to those they leave behind. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, teach us to be generous. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, teach us to be generous. And let us ask the Lord to fill our empty jars. Maybe that jar is the jar of financial security that has somehow vanished because of the pandemic and the economic downturn. Maybe the jar is the jar of joy and gladness. Maybe we are just so exhausted grieving. Maybe the jar is the jar of faith and hope in God. Maybe we are questioning and doubting. And let us humbly come to the Lord. Lord, we find ourselves so emptied. We find ourselves in need of your grace, of your goodness, to fill our empty hearts, fill our empty jars to the brim, so that like the woman who offered her two copper coins, we might share our experience of your providence with all those in need through word and action. We make this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness, we have spread the offer which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that their sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at their hands, for praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in misery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal misery, he, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew folk, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Ernesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And so have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shall so might be Father, forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to address God as loving Father, and so with confidence we now pray. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you, Father. Peace be with you, everyone. Peace be with you, Father. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
This is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to his table. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let's together pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me. Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered through Christ our Lord. Amen. We have announcements. Yes, Father. Um, on behalf of the Assumption Alumni Association, we would like to thank you, Father Manolin, for celebrating the Mass with us this afternoon. We also wish to thank our, all our alumni and friends who joined us this afternoon. And we also have an invitation for everyone. Uh, I think there's a slide somewhere. <laughs> you. you're, you're invited to an adoration, holy adoration tonight. Uh, just the religious of the Assumption Sisters invite all of us to jo join a night of vigil. Please check your Viber groups. The YouTube link is there. Thank you. Thank you, Father. That's it. <laughs> Thank you, Tina, for inviting me to celebrate this Mass with all of you. Sister Cheryl, good to see you. I am a fan of the Assumption, uh, and I am so grateful to so many of you who have been uh, helping uh, the Tai Tangin Yaman Foundation uh, through all these years. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who fills us with gladness. Thanks, Thanks be to God. To God.